Hello and welcome to today's special Tuesday webinar. So for those that's new to this channel, go and subscribe to us, like the content and share it to anyone that you think will benefit from our content in the crypto world. This is an exciting time. This is an exciting week. Wow, look at the coins that's actually moving. Everything is mostly in the green. You can literally just throw a dot and you will be able to make some money somehow. But we always strive to see what coins can outperform Bitcoin. We can see Filecoin is actually moving quite strongly the last few days. Zilliqa had a massive bump. We saw when they announced their new Metaverse play, what happened to their coin over, overnight. And Rune, what a beautiful trade. We've had it in our paid group. We've made over 200 odd percent in Rune. So that is fantastic. We can maybe see if we can have a look at it a little bit later. So looking at the estimated leverage in the market, it is coming to an all-time high. We've seen shorts liquidated now in the last few days, which is good. Why do you want to be short on, on Bitcoin? The hedge against inflation that's going to only continue in, uh, over the next few years. But we're going to play into cycles. As you see, no, nothing grow, goes up in one straight line. You do have these cycles where we were at highs at 63,000 in the 15th of April, a three, four month correction, then upwards up towards 45, a correction, and then the previous all time high at 66, close to $67,000 before we, we had that nasty drop on the 4th of December. And then we just continued downwards and sideways until recently. But we know buying the fear, everything in the market, dollar cost average is ways for us to gain, gain traction when you get these 100, 200, 300% rallies in the market. So we need to be prepared. So one interesting aspect, we've seen a crypto strategist bullish on Aave and two Ethereum competitors as Bitcoin blasts above $47,000. We will have a look at Bitcoin just now. Forty-five to forty-six, forty-seven, eight thousand dollars was a key sell wall. So, looking at Ave, Ave was also a very basic coin pick in our group. We looked at re-entries. We had a buy signal right at hundred and twenty odd dollar. We had the break, and it came into a inverse uh, head and shoulders pattern. And now we, we're very close to make taking profits. So that was a quick. 54% where it is now come, comes close to a 70% gain in just a matter of a few days. So well done to everyone on our paid group that took that trade. And this one is also very interesting. Mysterious Bitcoin wallet accumulates over 1.3 billion in Bitcoin in just two months is Terra Luna. So we know Do Kwan has been alluding that he is topping up. He's got a few billion that he's going to put behind Luna. So very interesting that the big whales has been accumulating Bitcoin over the last few months, even in this downwards range around these levels. When we came down to 36,000, that was a liquidation week as, as well. But then we kept on making higher highs. It was into this bigger pennant that we mentioned on last week. And there was a sell wall. And we've tested that wall a few times. So it's one, two, three, and now four and on the fifth time that we tested we had a straight break right through so if you can look at the overhead resistance that stripe line across to the upper upper side we're hitting that on the t at the moment at 48146 so if bitcoin can have a final push through above this level i do think we're going to extend this rally to the upside otherwise we may have a small pullback and that's perfectly fine we need a a slight retrace in the market it's healthy we can see we overbought on many time frames I'll just take that off on many if we just quickly have a look on the daily on the daily we just trading below the 200 day moving average so having a look closer to the nine hour again it may be due for a slight retrace but 45,000 into this range of 45,500 is a key support support level if we come down into those regions and then i'm expecting a higher push above 50 to the 53,000 range so keep an eye on bitcoin Falcon had a massive pump recently since it break out of 
57% in, just quickly get this, it was 57% in eight days. And I only think this is starting. Falcon, there's no technical levels, but just as an overhead resistance, got 46 there. So I'm going to analyze this a lot more in our group. In small cap big gains, guys, if you're not a member that yet, join our free channel. We've got a free channel where you can join in the crypto chat. You can speak to our moderators in there. You can get onto small cap big gains, register on Bitcoin TAF and make use of our promos that we've got currently going on on 10% off for our three, six, and 12 months. So make use of that. The next month is going to be highly bullish, and I do think we're going to go in a very nice cycle going forward. So this is Falcon in... Let's quickly have a look. Falcon versus USD T, but we can see relative to Bitcoin, we also broke. So that's very important. We always want to see if we can catch the rallies that can outperform Bitcoin. Looking at Moon River, we can see that Moon River is also just recently broke out. It will find support around these levels at about 62 to 68 for any retrace. So we can see the momentum is to the upside at the moment. On a daily time frame, we're looking positive. So Moon River may also just have a decent pump in the future. So these are key technical levels, but we'll analyze it also as we go into the next into the next cycle. So BAT is looking fantastic. We had BAT also on the breakout. We covered this in a Fantasy Five call we had the other day. That's up 24 to 35%. It's still lagging slightly behind other coins, but I do think that should be get going very soon. We had a look at AOS. So AOS is slowly climbing into this channel. And once we break above this 28 cents, I do think we're going to hit these targets of 209%. And that's just from recently when you could have entered this trade. So 209% a very decent return looking at chilies chilies was one of our coins as well we mentioned last week we are up 55 percent on chilies so that was actually absolutely beautiful we had the buy-in zones here you managed to get in very early there was a head and shoulder pattern we just had to wait for the break of 23 cents 50 and then significantly we had the pump to the upside we looked at crypto.com also last week crypto.com He's got a lot of favor. They've got massive marketing budgets. So I do think this coin is, these are only low time frame targets, 53 cents. This coin, we know what it can do when it really gets going. So crypto.com, very positive on that one. Haven, also a coin we had in our group. Guys, you need to get into this. Do not let or leave profits on the table. This is the time to get into coins. When we, we had a look at Haven, when it had that spike, it came down into that falling wedge and just been riding up. You can see how important these specific technical levels are. And we're close to 117%, 113% for the last few days. So that is significant. So now we're going to have a look at Origin Protocol quickly. And we can see we're up 154% and with a retrace. Now it can be exactly like Rune when we had the spike to the upside, Rune retested levels and then went higher. So I do think this 92 cents level for Origin may be the last take profit zone until we can turn this into support. And we are having some bullish divergences as well for continuation on the six hour. So where many coins are only catching up now, Origin has led the way and it should have another push to the upside as well so thanks everyone for tuning in smash that like button share this content with all fellow uh, family and friends and we will see you later in the week be blessed there has never been a better or more critical time to become a member make the move now to small cap big gains your portfolio will thank you for it